Yes, welcome back to Sports Show. Time to turn our attention to the Great Southern Footy League and the Southern Footy League. The Prez, Terry Corcoran of the Great Southern Footy League, the Prez of the Southern Footy League, Craig Warman joins us. Thanks for coming in, fellas. Thanks for having us. We know it's a big weekend. Strathalbyn Oval, what are we expecting? Uh, a win for Southern Footy League. Oh. <laughs> oh. Right. Oh, let's, let's put it out there right off the bat. <laughs> yeah. Not a problem. And Terry, surely you're thinking the same thing. I just ignore <laughs> silly comments. <laughs> yeah. Well, you are the. Uh, you hold both trophies. Yes, we do. You hold the, the ladies and the, and uh, the gentlemen. gentlemen. Both trophies. Yeah. That's why he's coming out saying. Well, oh. uh, but. We, uh, we hold the under-15 trophy and the under-17 trophy. Oh, really? Yeah, is that what and we're talking we've about? And we've actually introduced a, another grade, under-17 girls, that will play. So instead of a four-day ga um, game day, it'll be five games. At so, we're not, so we're not talking about these. Yep. We're going to talk about the under-17s, are we? Oh, yeah. We're talking no, about all of it, mate. Oh, OK. We're talking oh, about yeah. all of it. All right. All, all of them. them. OK. OK. Yeah, Let's get down. I mean, it's, uh, it's been a great rivalry. Yep. And uh, you two guys have been coming in for quite a while. We've had a pretty good banter on who's going to win it. Normally, the bloke that fires out early normally loses, mate. So I don't want to put any... <laughs> That's why I'm holding back. <laughs> <laughs> so I reckon a couple of years ago, Terry came out and said, no, we've got this wrapped up and you guys won it. So no, no that, was his, that was his predecessor. Oh, <laughs> that was Gordon. <laughs> Mr. Tonkin. Yeah. Hey, mate, you've just come off the Kangaroo Island trip. How, how, let's just quickly touch on that before we get to this. Yeah, look, a, re weekend. a really good day. Uh, again, it's a, a, a joint venture between us and Kangaroo Island where they bring their senior side over. They have a bye for that particular weekend. And we play our under-21s, um, which is a good fill-in because we've got to have four under-21s play in the side to play Great Southern, uh, which leads into the country championships as well. Um, and they, uh, we extend their up to under 17 halves and they play our under-15s. So it's, it was a really good hit out. Um, we were fortunate enough to, to get up in both games, but uh, really, really well uh, done down at uh, Aldinga, who hosted us. Uh, it was uh, it was really good. You had a full round of matches on the weekend. Yeah, we did. Uh, so the under twenty ones are they taken from there? Uh, no, did no, they, they play two games. Or they, they... they play on a Saturday. Yeah, and then they play on a Sunday. They played on the Sunday as well, as well as the under fifteens. The young okay. and fit. That's a big ask. Yeah, All right, let's get on to this weekend, mate. Strath Albums, where it's at. What time does it start? Uh, the first kickoff will be the under-17 girls at uh, 8.15. They'll uh, put the dew off the oval and, uh, and it'll go right through to 2.40 for the uh, men's uh, final game. Hey Terry, why Strathalbyn? How, how, do you, how do you come to Strathalbyn? Well, Stra in the old days we used to play the Lovelock Shield etc. We used to use uh, Strathalbyn as a central point from Hills, uh, River Murray as well as the Southern and ourselves. And uh, it's just carried on from that. But more importantly, it's one of the best ovals going around. I was going to say, it's a great ground, It's, isn't it's it? had AFL yeah, games on there, and uh, it's uh, one of the best. It's curated, they have a full-time curator there. It's superb. It's, cricket pitch uh, uh, is uh, turf, and uh, it's very well looked after. Mm. And well, great facilities. I'm going to wander out to the game, mate. Who's, who should I keep an eye on from the great Southern footy? Oh, it's very, it varies. There's a lot of young ones coming through and uh, I wouldn't want to name any one particular, but the, the, there's a good mix of young and old and there's a few a few core players there, that, you know, Pinions and so forth, that played for Norwood last year and uh, Vitacunas and uh, so forth from Mount Compass, but uh, there's some good lads from Wollongas and uh, across the board. Southern Footy League, mate. Going to make the same comment, Southern Footy League. Should look at all of the players, mate, or is there a couple there that you oh, no, think look, might turn the game your way? We, no, we've got a very, uh, very even uh, balanced side. Mm. As I said, uh, the good part for us is we've already had a look at our under twenty ones. Yep, that'll that'll uh, drift into the senior side. Um, keep your eye on uh, a lad called uh, Sam Tharrelson uh, from Flagstaff Hill. Uh, was a top up player for the Crows for a couple of years. Mm. Uh, can play and uh, well worth the interest, mate, to go and see him. Um, I believe um, uh, Timmy Sumner from Aldinga, uh, who was their big recruit, he's uh, going to pull on the uh, Southern Footy League Guernsey. Even his brother Byron might uh, get a gig as well. So, uh, yeah, look, we're, we're pretty confident in, uh, in the side that we're going to put out on the paddock, in, in all grades, because, uh, as I say, it's, it's not just about the senior men now, it's senior women through, through all the grades as well. Big day. Yeah, mate, traditionally, day. you know, when you talk about, and you've just come off uh, the Kangaroo Island trip, plus you had the, the, the season in full flight at the moment, both of you. Is it difficult to get the players to commit, or is it that level where the players still love to play in this type of game? I think the younger ones do, certainly. A few of the older boys uh, have, have been there and done that and just want to play footy on a regular basis, so we do exempt some of them based on, on that reason, but... Uh, most of the younger ones put their hand up, and I know with the girls' football that they, they just break, break the door down to get to play it. So 
I think uh, there's a good blend of uh, good players from both sides. All right, the women's side of things, uh, it's continued to grow in both areas. Yep. Astronomically, I mean, it's been oh. a boom out there. So what do we expect in the women's game? Well, in the past, we've been pretty pretty dominant in that, but I think we've uh, that's developed over the last couple of years, and I think the comp competition will be very, very fast. I watched the women train last night in, in the rain and at McLaren, uh, McLaren Vale, and they, they, they were very good. I, I couldn't believe the differences from the last couple of years, and the skill factor has improved immense. And you hold the cup in both. Yes, we have. Well, we've been sorry, last two years. Well, the first two years, yeah, we've, first two we've, years we haven't been defeated yet. Yeah. Since you've been playing it, you'd be pretty keen to get your hands on this one, uh, Craig, wouldn't well, you? Well, well and truly, yeah. well and truly, Baz, and uh, watch out because uh, we'll, we'll have a we'll have a pretty good uh, female side. I went and watched them train last night uh, as well, and uh, as uh, Terry alluded to, the, there's you can see the improvement in the skill level, etc., of these uh, girls, yeah. and they are so keen to want to do well and be part of uh, what, we, what we're trying to present. We're going to have a chat later on in the show with a couple of uh, grand final winners in the SA and FLW and talk about their skill level. What, what do you think's been the big... Because most of the players that we've spoken to this year that have come in from any of the women's footy have talked about how the skill improvement has been so great. What do you put that down to? Oh, look, I, th I think uh, we've actually got really good coaches for them now as well. Um, it's not uh, when it kicked off it was the the dad or whatever it's now proper accredited, accredited coaching that they're getting uh, and there's a lot of senior coaches mm. who didn't want to do senior men anymore and now drifted down and taking on the the leadership coaching roles in the in the women's competition well certainly in our league and I know Simon I Robinson uh, yep. in your league is the same we've got a lot of young girls we've been playing for five years now and uh, well this is our fifth season I should say and and a lot of the girls who played under 13s or 14s in the original uh, lot five years ago are now 18 and 19, yeah. and their skill level is is immense, and it's just fallen off. And the, as far as the uh, the short kicks and the, their understanding of how to play football properly, the experienced girls who come back from uh, CFLW or AFLW uh, are basically becoming coaches on the ground to the younger girls, and it's really helped develop. I mean, just quickly before I let you go, we're just talking off air about the COVID impact. What, what impact do you think uh, on the negative side has it had coming into this season for the Great Southern Footy League? For Great Southern, I think and it probably would be for Southern as well in one respect. I think the players, some players retired, some players didn't play full games last year, therefore the full season rather, and they've, they've had a, a very slow start to the season with a lot of injuries. But it's also affected the umpires. We, we have a combined umpires panel and a lot of umpires... Uh, didn't umpire last year because of COVID, didn't train last year because of COVID, and uh, we've lost a, a good percentage of some of our better umpires have retired, and uh, the younger ones coming through hasn't been enough to stop gap. Same in the Southern Footy League? Yeah, very similar, um, yep. as, as Terry alluded to. But uh, I think um, now we're going to get into the second part of the year, mm. things will start to, to get Roll, a little yeah, bit easier. Yeah. Uh, they've, they've had their seven or eight weeks getting into the season. This is always a big weekend for us. Uh, once we get over that, then they started to look at towards finals, yeah. etc. So the momentum then swi switches to w what's at the end of it. We should also mention we've got country championships in July yeah. uh, to Victor Harbour and, and Counter Bay, where we'll have all the state's uh, top country mm -hmm. zones coming through, which is another uh, carrot for the boys and the girls to uh, play. All right, looks like it's going to be an exciting weekend. You need to get down to the Strathalbyn Oval, support the great Southern Footy League or the Southern Footy League as the men and the women battle out for these two trophies sitting here on the counter. Stay with us, still plenty to come. <laughs>